Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So um, yeah, I've been away for a little while. I've had a lot of things going on in my personal life. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get back on to the recording the videos and everything and just, you know, just getting back into the grind of that. Um, so I had this message come through on one of my previous videos uh, regarding when I was breeding the Monostrops Balfouri. Um, hi, I'm looking on how to gender uh, Balfouris but nothing so clear to discuss. So can I elaborate on how to sex the Balfouri? So if you aren't aware already, so before maturity, sexual maturity, uh, Monostrops Balfouri are not sexually dimorphic. So that means that there is no difference in appearance between a male and a female. It isn't until the male matures that it becomes slightly different in very slightly different in coloration compared to the females. Now, a lot of people get confused because they say, oh, it's when it gets its blue carapace, that's a male. Well, that's not always the case, um, as you can see from this picture up here. Now, this is a female and it does have a blue carapace. So that is one of the telltale signs in a male. Uh, um, but obviously you can't take that as set in stone. Now, the males obviously develop emboli on the front pedipalps. Um, they're quite prominent on the males. They don't get tibial hooks like some people think. You know, well, when it's hooked out, that's when it's a male, but Balfouris don't get tibial hooks, so they don't hook out like some tarantulas do. Um, there is a slight more blue on the female, which is the part of the leg that goes from the main body up to the first patella. Now they get a, like a slight faint blue line going up there when they mature. Uh, the females don't tend to have this. Now, obviously before sexual maturity, you can't tell the difference. You know, we, we've had it ourselves where we thought one was a female and it's actually turned out to be a male. So the only way to guarantee telling the difference is by malt. Now, when you get the malt, obviously you've seen videos on how to sex a malt. So you look for the spermethica for a female. Um, generally it's a little flap or you can see, oh, I'll put a picture up here. So this was my female here. And as you can see our circle here, now there is the spermethica. They look on a Balfouri like little, little oven gloves. You can see them just there. So yeah, so if your malt develops this, then you know you have a female. Um, if it doesn't have this, then obviously it's gonna be a male. So uh, checking when they're slings is, is gonna be a lot harder, uh, especially because generally, if you're keeping them in a communal, you're not gonna know which malt it belongs to. So that is gonna be proven quite tricky. But if you're keeping them on their own or or well, what then that shouldn't be so much of a problem. Obviously it is a little bit trickier to do it when they are slings because obviously the malt's gonna be a bit smaller, but you know, when they when they get to juvenile size or whatever, that's when you're gonna start telling. So yeah, so that's just a, a quick video on how to sex uh, about Fori. Um, if there's anything else you wanna see that you want me to cover a video on, please pop down in the description. Uh, I'll be happy to help out with uh, any information I can. Once again, thanks for coming along. You know, I know it's not been, I haven't done a lot of videos lately, but hopefully I'm getting back on it now and I've got a few projects coming up. As you can see, the uh, the original Balfouri enclosure is coming along really, really well. So what I'll do is I'll put an update video coming out soon on the progress of that. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good at the moment. So yeah, it's a little bit of a sneak peek there, but like I say, I'll, I'll put out a video very shortly. So yeah, don't forget that you can check out my social media pages I'll put them in the description, links to the, all of that. Um, yeah, so thanks for coming along and I'll uh, see you next time.